Millwall against Watford. I've played at Millwall when there's been a full house there, and it's a proper old raucous place. The old den was, and the new den certainly is. Uh, they face Watford, and uh, again, will Watford make a lot of changes, or will they play the Deanies, Igalos, and look to get out of dodge and go into the next round? I think that if you're a bottom half of the Premier League club, the general narrative is you want to go as far as you can in this tournament to mask having a poor season. You know, if you're Bournemouth, if you're Watford, if you're Palace, if you're Hall, all of these clubs, um, it's a very dangerous game that they play. Stick the first team out, get beat with the first team or get beat with the first team and get injuries, then everybody's knackered for the next week. Or make one or two changes, see what the next crop coming underneath, like the ones that haven't had a chance, um, go through and then you give yourself one or two headaches and dilemmas when it comes back to the Premier League. So we will see some changes, but it just depends on how much. I'm going to go for a draw. I think this one will go again back to Vicarage Road. I'm going to go for Millwall 1, Watford 1. Uh, the big game, the romantic game, the David against Goliath, the Hereford against Newcastle, uh, Colchester against Leeds many, many years ago, before I think I was born, or certainly I was only two or three years of age, but I keep being told on Twitter about it. Um, Gary Monk's side are going great guns. He's turned... This isn't the Leicester miracle... But in, in grander football terms, this Leeds United were going towards Niagara Falls and dropping off. He's turned them round slowly. He's stabilised it for a month and then he's moving it forward. And that could be one of the stories of this season if Leeds United were to get into the playoffs and be successful and get promoted. A, it would be a very warm welcome back for me uh, to a great club. Um, of course, Yorkshire... East Yorkshire is Hull, of course, they're in the Premier League. Uh, but Yorkshire, Yorkshire, middle Yorkshire uh, hasn't had representation for a little while in the league with Leeds and Sheffield Wednesday, Sheffield United, etc., etc. Um, so it would be great to see them back. I don't see any fairy tale. I think, I think that, again, Hewton, Monk, people like Steve Bruce, Sam Allardyce, they realise the value of continuity because it's a grind. They're played in a grind. You play this week, you play this week, you play this week. If you make seven or eight changes, you're going to lose. You lose momentum, then all of a sudden people start asking questions. So I think that for Gary Monk, he'll play a strong side by one or two changes. He's got an exciting academy there as well. And I think it will be Sutton United nil, Leeds United 3. Welcome to Boyle Sports. Join today, place a tenner bet, and you'll get 20 quid in free bets. Come on!